Hey, what is going on everybody? So today I have a review for you for a Bluetooth earphones right here. This one is by King Yu. And let me just put these on and I'll show you what it looks like on and then we'll take it to my desk and we'll go over the actual particulars. So the controller is only on one of these. There's another box here as well, but I think this is just to keep it even so it's not like weighing down on one side heavier. So you keep the controllers on your right side. So let me go ahead and pop these in my ear here and I'll show you how this looks. Again, it is in the ear here and you can see the cord here is on the back of the neck. And like I said, the controllers are here, but there's another box here and it's the same size and same weight. I think it's just to keep it balanced. And you can kind of see how that looks. So let's go ahead and bring this to my desk and we'll go over the particulars. So the first thing I want to mention is what exactly comes with it. Here's a box that it came in and it comes with a nice little zip up carrying case right here. It also has a clip on here too. And it does come with additional ear tips here. The ones that are on it already are medium sized, but it comes with ones that are a little bit smaller and ones that are larger as well. Of course, it comes with your instructions here and it comes with a little cleaning pad as well. So let me go ahead and just give you a closer look. And one thing I do want to mention uh, right off the bat, it is IPX-4 sweat proof. So these would be good if you're in the gym or if you're running or basically if you're sweating. The only issue I had when I was running with these is the cable back here will kind of stick to my neck, which is annoying for me at first, but then while after a while you just get used to it and you don't notice it. But definitely in the beginning, I just kept noticing it kept sticking to the back of my neck. And it does have magnets here as well. So if you wanted to hang this anywhere, you can just hang that just like this. And if we look closer on here at the actual control box is all the buttons, it's four buttons, it's all on one side. There's another box here, it doesn't have no buttons or anything. And like I said, I think that this one is only to give it even weight. And if we look on here too, there is a mic. The mic is pretty good when I'm in phone calls, no issues whatsoever with the other side hearing me, but the mic is actually on the back here. It's this little tiny hole right here. And if I turn it over, you have your basic control buttons here. You have a plus, which you can increase the volume or you can also skip to the next song. You have a multifunction button here, which is um, basically your power on off button, but you can also pair your device. You can hang up, you can answer a call, you can reject the call, you can even redial using this one multifunction button. Down here is the little minus sign here. And what you can do with this one is just decrease the volume or you can go back to a previous song. And down here is a snapshot button. Now I almost forgot to mention that there is a USB, micro USB port here. So you can actually charge this. And it does come with a micro USB standard cable as well. And in order to charge this from zero to 100%, it takes about two hours. If you're listening to music, you can listen to it consistently for eight hours, about eight hours straight. And if it's on standby, it'll typically last about 200 hours. So let me go ahead and just grab my iPhone here and I'll go ahead and pair it. And I just removed it on here, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning. So if you wanna go ahead and pair it, you have to press and hold the power button for seven seconds, and then it'll turn uh, red and um, it'll blink, the LED light will blink blue and red so you know it's pairing. If you wanted to turn it on, you would press and hold it for four seconds and then you will see the blue light, then it'll be on. If you wanna turn it off, you press and hold for four seconds, you see a um, red blink or a red light, then it's gonna turn off. The cool thing is, of course, if it's in your ear, it's gonna tell you everything. So let me just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on first. I'm hoping you're able to hear this, but I'm gonna put this one next to the mic and we're gonna turn it on first. So I'm gonna press and hold for four seconds. So I pressed it for four seconds, it turned on, and then additional three more seconds, seven seconds total, now it's blinking uh, red and blue. And you should have heard say that it's ready to pair the device. And now I'm gonna look for it. Okay, here it is right here. I'm gonna tap on that so we can go ahead and connect it. All right, now we are in business. Okay, so let me just go and play some music. I'll just go to my um, YouTube video here. And what I'm gonna do is, it's paired right now. So let me just go ahead and press on play. And of course, if I increase the, decrease the volume, you can see it from here as well. 
increase, decrease. And let me go ahead and leave this one ear piece, this one earphone up to my mic here to give you kind of, so I can give you an idea like what it sounds like here. So let me go ahead and increase the volume here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up to the max. And I'll lower this down. If I wanted to mute it, I can just press on the multifunction button. If I wanted to uh, resume, I just press the multifunction again. And it's back on. So that's pretty much it for this review. If you guys have any questions or anything, comment below. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a like and subscribe for more videos like this and a tons of different other videos as well. Thanks for watching, guys.